It's the Traveler. And the Almighty Shogun. Yep. It's not very good to come here with her every week to get commission then. How might I be of assistance, Your Excellency? I wish to borrow a tea set from the Yashiro Commission. Oh, uh, sure. I'll fetch that for you right away. What? That was uh, easy. Please step into the courtyard and have a rest, Almighty Shogun. Oh, and I'll inform my lord about your visit immediately. Ah, and the tea set. I'll bring that here as soon as it's ready. Be at ease. I'm not here to see Commissioner Kamisato. Actually, I'd prefer to spend this time chatting with the traveler. Please, fetch the tea set at your convenience. Uh, no, no, no. I am your humble servant. I daren't think of my own convenience when the Almighty Shogun graces me with her presence. I'll deal with it right away. Well, it's not often we have the chance to chat. I'm sure you must have a lot of questions. Yep, and I bet you're not allowed to say anything. Even though, if I remember correctly, she kind of resent for being Archon, so she doesn't care if he's, she spelled the beans about Celestia was the place, or Kenria. Right. Paimon wanted to ask that too. The almighty Shogun that he described didn't sound anything like you at all. I seldom had the time to drink tea. <laughs> Any free time I had was spent practicing martial arts. So, in the vast majority of cases, the one he made tea for was the former Electro Archon, who was also my sister, Raiden Makoto. He may well have had an inkling about there being two Raiden Shoguns, but he always acted as if he was completely unaware of it. The philosophy of life that he shared with us just now, that was Makoto's view on reality. She always saw things that way. You and Makoto had pretty different views, huh? Indeed we did. It was the biggest difference between us. In her eyes, the most precious things in this world were dreams. The yearning for a better future held by living beings. They are similar, but not identical. Hmm, ambition. Can I only because I have a yesterday talk with some friend and on short I may do a video if I actually manage to do that. But like what I say at the end of the line to write, this game is free. Now look at the quality, like a triple A game. But in the same time you can kinda sense the ambition maybe is too high for this game. I'm not gonna remember about that now, but kinda sort tease to say. When you came charging into the plain of Euthymia, I saw human aspirations light up the sky far above in the form of countless stars. This somewhat shook me. Now, it seems like she was right. While I took the wayward path. Wow, there sure was a lot going on beneath the surface. Makoto saw a bigger picture than I did. In her view, a dream is more imaginary, more abstract than an ambition. An ambition is a yearning for something material, or a concrete outcome. It is finite in nature, and will be replaced by a new ambition in due course. Makoto was more concerned with the force that drives humans to constantly generate new ambitions in the first place. It is something innate, rooted in instinct. In other words, it is something eternal. That's... Uh, quite a lot to take in. To put it simply, Makoto wasn't concerned about outcomes. I didn't understand at the time. How can we say that we are maintaining eternity when things are constantly moving forward and evolving? I suppose what it comes down to is the definition of eternity she set out with. Yes, it does. I always thought that she must have grasped some elusive, arcane wisdom to arrive at the conclusions she did. 
But in the last analysis, Makoto's philosophy was, on the surface at least, an elegantly simple one. Notwithstanding that it was also the more prudent choice, based on a more mature, far-sighted outlook. Do you feel you're starting to understand her better now? You have already witnessed my previous views on eternity. But now, I no longer cling to what was lost. <laughs> I suppose that means our differences have been reconciled. Almighty Shogun! I found a tea set. This one in particular should be fit for your excellency's use. It's quite beautiful. Thank you. You are too kind. A humble servant such as I does not deserve the gratitude of the almighty Shogun. It's all good, sir. She's actually pretty chill. Yeah, Let us return. Don't forget her. We ought not keep Furuyama waiting too long. Where'd he go? Hey, where'd he go? I just say that. He wouldn't have gone looking for a tea set himself, would he? Or may he just disappear like? <sighs> or, perhaps the ley lines did not have the power to sustain him for very long. As was the case with the memory we saw earlier. So... So we won't get to drink his tea? We didn't even have a chance to say goodbye. <laughs> the information held in the ley lines is complex and disorderly. The fact that we were able to meet him to begin with was a miracle of fate. <laughs> well, this chance won't come often. And we do have a tea set. Perhaps I should try my hand at making us a pot of tea. Oh no. I've watched Furuyama brew tea on many occasions. I doubt I should have any major problems doing it myself. No, 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 no. I, uh, I knew the style of you cooking. The tea is ready. Please give it a try. So many thoughts were racing through my head as I was brewing it. I... <sighs> I'm not sure how to explain it. You're right. But the things we've seen today have brought back many memories for me. I've been reminded of many people, too. Kitsune Saigu, Makoto, and all the other friends who I watched pass even further back. Back at the Yashiro Commission, I kept the conversation reasonably light-hearted. But now... I'd like to broach a heavier topic, if I may. The events of 500 years ago not only robbed me of my friend, Kitsune Saiku, they also took Makoto away from me, for good. She died in that disaster too? Yes. She went to Konria alone, without telling me. Unlike me, Makoto was no martial artist. Whenever similar crises had arisen in the past, I was always the one to face them in her stead. But this time... The circumstances were so grave that Makoto had no choice but to leave me behind. Or... Perhaps it was more that she went ahead of me, put herself in front of me, so that I would remain hidden. In any case, by the time I realized what was happening... Yes. It was too late. I arrived only in time to hear her dying breath. She had already lapsed into unconsciousness by that point, so all I could do was enter into her mind. As far as you're concerned, it would be somewhere similar to the plane of Euthymia. Wait, you it was there head? that we bid each other a final farewell. 
I cried bitterly. Even in those final moments, I couldn't understand her actions. Why did she go to Conria first, and not I? Why did she keep me in the dark about it? Was it to shield me? It was there and then that I resolved to pursue eternity. As a testament to that decision, I saved her realm of consciousness just before it collapsed completely and brought it back to Inazuma. Huh? That's quite a story. So wait, you go back when I returned back to Inazuma, memory? I was shocked to find that a great sakura tree had appeared on Mount Yogo. The tree that you know as the sacred sakura. Appear? Like she actually is just part of her nowhere? That's exactly what everyone back then told me as well. That it had existed since time immemorial. They were so matter-of-fact about it, and couldn't at all understand what I was so surprised about. No one questioned it. And yet, its presence contrasted so starkly with the area as I remembered it. It seemed as if I was the only one to have noticed it appear suddenly out of thin air. In the end, I simply had to accept that it was a miraculous effect of Makoto's consciousness. With the help of the sacred Sakura's power, I was finally able to overcome the monsters and quell the disaster in Inazuma. This is all really hard to understand. Kinda beyond Paimon's level. Yes. She had such a great love for this land and for its people. In this respect, I still do not compare to her. I once told myself that I would never speak of these events again. Facing the fact that she is gone is unbearably painful. But even the tea that is most bitter to the tongue, once swallowed, leaves some sweetness in the throat. And it's time I came to terms with it all. Man, this is actually sad. Wait, is uh, this it actually broken? Why is this normal? Oh, um, while we're on the topic, since you experienced that battle in person, like she, she knew how a uh, sister looked like. Sister. Hmm. I had heard that you were looking for your family. You mean to say that she was somehow involved in the Conria disaster? Based on what we've learned so far, it seems so, yeah. I'm sorry. I wasn't there for the whole thing. By the time I arrived, the worst of the fighting was already over. And also... My mind was consumed entirely with the plight of Inazuma and the fate of those closest to me. So, I am afraid I can't help you. Oh, well, that's a shame. But it can't be helped, I guess. Boy, both of you have experienced great tragedy. With this last cup of tea, let us honor the Tea Master's memory. Thank you, Destiny, for giving us the chance to meet again. We should go. Let's keep following the traces. Very well. Based on my investigation so far, I believe this next pack of monsters should be the last. Once again, please leave them to me. Hey, hey, uh, are you sure you're all right? You're scaring us. <clears throat> Fear not. Fighting is what I do best. 
So I'm JC Strong. There is no escape. Illusion shattered. Wait, 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 wait. What was that? I'm fine. I... Uh... <laughs> Illusion shattered! Now you shall perish. We got all of it again. Apologies. Don't worry about it. Just take a breather and get your strength back. We'll deal with the monsters. Look, that's the same light again. Where am I? Who are you? <coughs> Almighty Shogun, you're here too! Uh -oh, are you injured or uh, okay, then. <sighs> I'm quite alright. Just feeling a little stiff. We, the Shogun at Samurai, will defend the Shogun until the very end. Come on, men! They're coming back for more! Let's get them! Don't! It's too dangerous. Danger is our duty, ma'am. If we were the kinds to shy away from danger, we never would have taken up arms to begin with. No need to worry, Almighty Shogun. When the situation looks bleak, we will draw on the power granted to us by the gods. Is that a vision? Are you kidding me? They actually put a vision on an NPC. It only took like how many updates to actually have an NPC with a vision? Finally! Because this is kind of my gut. Like, again, this game made me a little too ambition. And this was like my great guides at the start of the Inazuma arc. But look here! After so many time, we have here. It certainly is. I know the gods are omnipotent, and their willingness to grant their power to humans means they have high expectations for us. If the almighty Shogun is in trouble, now of all times is the moment for us to honor that! So that's how samurai of that era understood visions, huh? Nobody knew where your excellency had gone, and we were starting to despair. But now we've found you. You're right here with us. And speaking of, I kind of surprised the look that the beast just stay out there, just waiting to them to attack a little. Just the sight of you appearing before us once more has reignited the hope in our hearts. This hope is the light that will guide us out from the darkness. Everyone on me! Huh? Affirmative, but watch your backs. The wolf are like, are you done? Attack the almighty Shogun! Solidify! 
right now. Right here. Emerge. Nothing lasts forever. I'm going in! Huh? Breath of the flame! Yeah. Oh, boy, it's a big one. Right here. Emerge. Right here. Stabilize. Incinerate. I kind of want to look a little. Can you want that? I try to see the NPC fight. Right now. Right here. Teamwork is dreamwork. <laughs> this is getting interesting. It seems like their attacks are finally over. I want to... At least I want to see a little closer if the, this one actually use his vision in some capacity. <laughs> I've never fought so fiercely before. Thank you all. Um, are you okay? Maybe you should keep resting. I'm fine. I feel much better already. You fought phenomenally. It was truly awe-inspiring. Oh, wait, wait. Wait, is he a cryo or wind? He's electro. In this one, I cannot tell. I think he's cryo. I actually get my head close to the monitor to actually see clearly. Yeah, I think he's cryo. And what is the third one? And yeah. Actually, I want to see rewatch the ending of the Alcon quest in Inazuma to see if the those three that we help with vision they actually have vision on them. Although I bet that'd be like tiny tiny detail. But let's continue on. The monsters will definitely come back. And when they do, it'll be more than a few rift hounds this time. Quickly, escort Her Excellency back to Inazuma City and regroup with the General's forces as soon as possible. When everyone sees the almighty Shogun safely returning, their spirits will be lifted. Hmm, I want to say for the third one, I think he's Hydro. Hydro, Kyo, Electro. Hmm. Well, what are you guys gonna do? We will stay here and guard against the monster's advance. We cannot afford to let them get any further. We are brothers in arms. As long as we stick together, we can face any number of monsters that come our way. Okay, I think my mistake. I think he's, what, even Anima? Or, I think Anima, because he has that gap between, and, yeah, Electro, Cryo, Anima. Just leave it to us. Fighting is what we do best. But the Almighty Shogun is the only one of us with the power to change the present state of affairs. Only Her Excellency can turn back the tide of despair and lead us onward into the future. No matter what kind of threat faces Inazuma, we will always place our faith in the Almighty Shogun. <sighs> Thank you all very much. I promise you that I will create a bright future for Inazuma. I should not have left it this late to make this promise. But from this moment forth, know that I shall be true to my word. Don't worry, Your Excellency. We will never doubt your word as long as we live. With you leading us, we will claim back everything that Inazuma has lost. Glory to the Shogun! Glory to the Shogun! They're gone. It was both. The people's sacrifice has always caused me immense pain. 
But in dwelling on the tragedy, I overlooked their splendor. The grief blinded me to how brightly they shone in their final moments. The result being that in the centuries since their sacrifice, I have dishonored their will. You could take the view that whatever I say to them is meaningless, because they are but disembodied memories held in the ley lines. But even so, they are due a resolution. I owe it to them, and to all the people who have placed their faith in me to date. Well, Paimon thinks that even if it's a few hundred years later, you're doing right by them now, and that's what counts. Thank you for your comforting words. But this is my basic duty as Inazuma's Archon. And I have neglected it for far too long. I used to think just like that samurai. That I was first and foremost a warrior. And my only duty was to face whatever challenge came my way. But what Inazuma needs more than a warrior is someone like Makoto. Even though I am utterly unlike Makoto, and can never become the person she was, I still need to do the things that she would have done. Yes, they are. They are strong and resilient, and have much to be proud of. As the Raiden Shogun they revere, I should not be the one to hold them back. Well said. Sounds to Paimon like you figured things out. Change will come to Inazuma, and with it, new possibilities. This will take time, but eventually, the future will bring healing to the scars of the past. No matter how long it takes, I am committed to bringing this to fruition. This is my promise. Now that we've dealt with the Rift Hounds, this matter is halfway resolved. It does not appear that the threat will escalate for the time being. I will leave the Tenryo and Yashiro commissions to handle the follow-up work, such as investigating the origins of this incident and tending to the root system. Alrighty then, let's move on! They look calm on the outside. Paimon bets her She's emotions gonna beg must be all over the place right now, huh? She seems to have changed a lot since we last met her. Huh? What's wrong, eh? Come on, keep up! <sighs> What's going on? Are you feeling unwell again? I no, it's not yet over. My body... I can't move it. It looks like the situation is more... No need. She is calling me. Oh. The time has come. Can you help me walk? I need to go to the cave below the Grand Narukami Shrine. Why? What's in there? A battleground. One where I shall sever ties with the past and take the first steps into the future. Okay, this kind of come out of nowhere. 